This video is sponsored by Card Kingdom. You can pre-order Kaldheim there right now if you click on my referral link in the description below. Before we jump into this premiere draft Kaldheim during the uh, Kaldheim Early Access event that Wizards invited me to, they gave me a free preview account to do it, so thanks to them. Uh, but in addition to the, thanking them, I also want to thank Card Kingdom for sponsoring my content. You can visit their store and pre-order Kaldheim uh, if you click on the link in the description below on YouTube or the logo below on Twitch. All right, so the Blood Sky Massacre is pretty good. Even on its own, you know, it makes a Berserker, does some nice value stuff for you. And there are a decent number of Berserkers in Black-Red that kind of power it up. Um, you know, this is pretty much... There's two Berserker payoffs in the whole set, and they're both rare, so it's not really a Berserker deck per se, but it is the color pair where there's lots of Berserkers, you know. Uh, we've also got Trickster God's Heist, which is another pretty good saga. Um, you know, chapter one is where you get most of the value. The other two are sort of incidental additional value. Uh, we've also got Way Down, which is a pretty good removal spell, but one that you can't really ever use early. I think I'm leaning towards taking the Blood Sky Massacre. It's multicolored. I mean, maybe Draugr's Helm should be in the conversation a little more, since it's monocolored. Um, but I think I'll go with the Massacre here. Okay. So, uh, Frostbite's pretty nice removal spell. Goes, you know, we already took one red card. Ruined Crown is good if you can pick up some runes. Um, Svela Ice Shaper's not bad. Um... I think I'm going with Frostbite here. So we do need to value. In our last draft, we didn't really have any reason to value Snow. We do now. And uh, Black Black Red has a reasonable amount of cards that will have you valuing Snow. So, yeah. Um, okay. The blue-green land and the black-white land. They're both pretty nice. Uh, not exactly where we are at this point. Uh, Bind the Monster is a premium removal spell. You know, it does hurt you and all that, but it is premium. I'm kind of considering taking it. I'm also even considering Highland Forest. This pack just isn't that exciting. This would give us fixing and snow mana. Um, but I think we can probably want to be taking Bind the Monster over these other things. I mean, the black and red cards in here just aren't that good. Uh, so, we'll take Bind the Monster. Okay, so we have another Frostbite here. There's also a Doomscar Titan, who's a pretty great top curve creature to have. Uh, oh, there's also a Demon Bolt, though, which is definitely just the pick. It's better than both of them, so it's what we'll take here. You know, it's not Snow. It doesn't have Fortell, so it doesn't feel... Oh, actually, it does have Fortell. Never mind. It does feel special in this set, so <laughs> we'll take Demon Bolt. That's a pretty cool uh, token art right there. Red seems reasonably open. I mean, you know, it's early, but a Demon Bolt on pick... Was that pick four? That's pretty late. That's pretty late. Yeah. I mean, there are cards you take over Demon Bolt, and there may have been several in that pack, I suppose. Um, but yeah. Okay, so here's the other Black Red Saga. It's not as good as Blood Sky Massacre, but it's pretty good. I mean, it gives you a lot of value. This pack does have Berg Strider, a card I know I'm going to love once I play with it, but I don't know that we're. I don't think we want to take it here over the Vicious Return, which you know lets you sack something to do three, then makes both players discard, and then Chapter Three reanimates something. In my set review, I said it's kind of like a poor man's um, The Eldest Reborn, and that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so we'll take it here. Um, you know, Haggy Mob's not bad. It is a Berserker, after all. But yeah, we'll take Carter's Vicious Return here. Cardur's Vicious Return, I should say. Okay, so... We're entering into the neighborhood of maybe we should be taking Snow Things. Um, but... I think we probably just take Death Knell Berserker. It's not that hard to make it bigger and get its token going. Uh, it is a two-drop. We could use those. And it's a Berserker. Um, these guys are two, but this one asks for a little more help. Uh, and this one's expensive. 
So, yeah, I'd rather have the Death Nova Berserker here. So right now, black and red both look reasonably open. You know, I guess red doesn't actually have that many snow payoffs or rarities. I think this is pretty much it. Black has a lot. Um, it's one of the snowier colors. But yeah. Cards that make tokens are going to be particularly attractive, especially if they're Berserker tokens, which there are cards that do that uh, in this format. So, you know. Yeah, that five drop is pretty good. Um... It was probably, it may have been a little too early to be concerned about needing a two-drop or whatever. Um, okay, so this is hard because we could use a snow-covered mountain, but I think we probably take squash. Uh, even if we don't end up with any giants, it's pretty good. I like it more than dogged pursuit. Um, and chances are we end up with at least a couple giants. Uh, that's when it's really good. But, you know, five to do six is a reasonable deal overall. I do like Mistwalker, a nice efficient creature that's changeling, but uh, yeah. Squash it is. Squash is expensive without Giants, but it's still pretty good. Um, yeah. So, I think Bind the Monster is probably a little better than Frostbite, I suppose. So, in this pack, I think we're choosing between Axe Guard Cavalry or Wither Crown. Wither Crowns are reasonable, but we saw in our first draft anyway, there's a lot of equipment and auras in this set that make uh, Wither Crown not so good. Uh, make it feel worse. I don't think it's bad, but I do think I want to take a cavalry over it, which is also another berserker. Uh, okay, well, that's pretty sweet. The helm came back to us, which I think it's pretty good. It's one of the better in this cycle. And the token it makes is a berserker. Maybe we'll get a second Blood Sky Massacre in our next pack, or the two mana 3 1 elf, who's also a berserker payoff. That would be cool. All right, here we'll take the Kennel Master. This, it did come back, so that's good. Um, you know, seize the spoils and run amok are both fine. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think our last draft actually wasn't that much of a train wreck, but it does seem like this one's going better from the start. Um, yeah. But yeah... Helm wheeling is good good news. I think we saw reasonable signs that both black and red are open here. Alright, so we'll grab village rights here. Let's just cut black, and if we do end up with ways of making tokens, which we kind of want to do, um, it'll be pretty good. Okay, so I think we take dwarven reinforcements here. And it's both because it goes wide, which is good for Cardor's Vicious Return, and because it makes two Berserker tokens. And it's just a fine card anyway, so... Take another village rights here. I kind of doubt we play more than one, but um, are we more? We're actually kind of in a neighborhood of playing the shackles. Uh, it's not easy to do with the vicious return, but it might be worth doing. Okay, so we have Magda here. Who? How many dwarves do we have right now? We have some. So I think we probably want Magda here. Uh, she, we have dwarves, and she gives us fixing. Um, oh, there is feed the serpent though. Hmm. Does one take Magda over feed the serpent? I don't know that one does. I think we have to. I think we go for the removal. Yeah. It's close, but I think the removal is just so good that. We have to take it there. Okay, so here's a giant, which kind of helps with squash, but it costs a million mana, so it doesn't help as much as it looks. We probably just take Dwarven Hammer here. Uh, that also makes a Berserker token, which is nice. Um, Infernal Pet's not going to be great in this deck. Uh, yeah, so we'll take the Hammer here. Snowlands do matter a little, but... I think we take the hammer over a snow land there. Wow. Huh. <laughs> well, this is one of those packs where you're like, is it worth throwing out one color because Doomscar is so good? And I'd say that's the right thing to do sometimes, but we have another Feed the Serpent here. Hmm. 
If I didn't have something as good as Feed the Serpent here, I think I would consider a little more seriously going for Doom Scar, but I think we take I think we take the spot removal. The really good removal spell. Um, so here's something we can splash that's not bad. Trickster God's Heist. Um, again, there's a giant here. Um, struggle for Skemfar is quite good to still be here. Uh, Gold Vein Pick isn't terrible, but I don't love it. I'm probably just going to take Coma's Faithful here. Well, yeah, actually I'm going to take the Heist and see if we can pick up Fixing. I think that makes sense. I'm going to put the Shackles here for now. Okay, so here is what is both a snow land, which helps us fix, and a snow land, which we want for our uh, uh, frostbite. Uh, Yarl of the Forsaken is pretty good, um, but not amazing. Same thing for, I think, all three of these. Um, I think I'm going to take the snow land here, you know. This is such a situational card, and this is slow. We do have a lot of Berserkers, so I guess Raise the Draugr looks good. But I think I'll take Volatile Field in the end. Ooh. Well, let's just grab another Black-Red Signpost, which does have us... Uh, yeah. So we really want to be making tokens. The Bounding Gold still being here is interesting, by the way. As good as it is. Um, we saw Doom Scar pretty late, and now Bounding Gold. But we're going to stick... We're going to stay the course, but that was tempting. All right, I think we grab another Frostbite here. Yeah. Better than Commander's Helm. Or Tormentor's Helm. So... Do I want a third Frostbite? I think maybe I do. So, we are actually not terrible at double, double uh, spelling right now. So... You know. Volatile Fjord. Yeah, we do kind of... Now that we have three Frostbites, we really want to try harder to get snow stuff. Because right now, we got Volatile Ford as far as snow permanents go, and that is it. So if we see some, you know, snow stuff late, I think we're interested. Well, here's a fourth Frostbite. My God. So, uh, let's go for it. <laughs> that that pack had some other options, but, you know, I, uh, I like the frostbite there. So, yeah. Snow stuff would be nice. To make our frostbites much better. I mean, three is just so much more damage than two. I know it seems like it's only one, but it's it feels like even more most of the time. All right, I think we actually want Infernal Pet. I mean, this deck's not going to be able to trigger it super, super impressively. Uh, but with four frostbites of village rights, I think it'll work out okay in this deck. Um, more so than Cinderheart Giant. So, yeah, I think we'll take the Infernal Pet here. Okay, so this is a snow permanent, and that plays into our decision here to some extent. I do think Axe Guard Cavalry is a better card, but, like, you know, I do kind of feel like, yeah, I mean, I think we just take the Cavalry here. I think uh, the snow permanents and stuff would be nice, but we're not desperate for them. Um, big old Giant or Coma's Faithful. I'll take the Faithful. Okay, we'll take a Recruiter here. That is true. We have the Reanimator Saga for a large giant. You're not wrong. Okay, so... We do have another Feed the Serpent here. Another Draugr's Helm, too. I think we probably just grab Feed the Serpent. And I think I can safely say we're pretty secure... We're pretty secure on... Uh, uh, removal <laughs> at this point. Um... We're in good shape there. We need a lot more creatures. I think that's really the uh, 
key thing the rest of the way. Ooh, hello. Um, okay. We don't have a ton of boast, but she's pretty good anyway. Both sides of her are really good. Uh, you know, you play Birgi early and Harnfell late, and they can both take over the game. There is a Demon Bolt here, but I do think Birgi's good enough, and we have so much removal already that we probably just take Birgi here. Uh, Dwarven Hammer wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't hate a Snow-Covered Mountain, but, you know, I think we want Birgi a little more. I don't know why she just roared like that, but, um, yeah, she, she did, apparently. Um, okay. So, as I said, we're pretty good on removal. We don't need things, like, way down. Um, this land does help our mana. It's not snow-covered, unfortunately. There's another Draugr's Helm. Um, Immersturm Skull Cairn's not bad either. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're in a bad place in terms of taking snow lands because we really need creatures. So taking, taking lands is dangerous, I think, unfortunately. So... I think I'm going to go with the helm. It's a creature and an equipment. Um, the pathway it doesn't help us that much uh, for our deck, and I don't think we needed to take it. Um, so we have snow-covered stuff now. Do we want it more than a dwarven reinforcement? Again, I feel like we're in kind of a dangerous place with how few creatures we have, so it's hard for me to want to take the swamp. I mean, if our frostbites are just shocks, I think we can live with it. You know, um... Yeah, this wouldn't be bad to splash. All right, so... How's our curve looking? Not great. I kind of feel like we have to take the Raider, even though I'd much rather have the Firewalker. Um, we're going to take the Raider. Okay, so... Another reanimation spell. I think we'll just take Haggy Mob here, though. Um, Rune of Speed is not a creature, but, uh, it's probably what we want here anyway. Yeah. Invasion of the Giants. Okay, so here's a snow permanent, but <laughs> we're talking about having one snow land, and it's probably just not worth it. Um, would I rather have Fearless Pup or Tuskiri Firewalker? Probably the Firewalker. So we got a lot of Berserkers. It's too bad we didn't get more uh, multiples of some of the Berserker payoffs, but, you know, we'll be okay. Um, so I think we take another Draugr's Helm here. Uh, our deck does look like it has fewer creatures than it does because of creature token making and uh, equipment like the Helm. Okay, so do we want another Dwarven Hammer? Yeah, sure. It's another creature that's not a creature. Granted, they're expensive if you're casting them as creatures. And that does matter, but I think we'll go for it. Yeah, Skull skull Raid, you know, that's... All right, so now the question is, do we want a utility land or better fixing? At this point, we're not playing the Trickster Gods thingamajig, so... It would just be fixing. I think utility is a little more valuable than fixing, personally. Uh, okay, we'll take a late wither crown, I guess. Okay, so... Probably not going to play squash in the end. Okay. Okay. So, don't think we're that interested in the Recruiter. Even though right now we're not doing a great job of taking advantage of Bergie's boast stuff, the Recruiter is still pretty mediocre, and I think we can lose it. Um, so, we could probably play 60. <laughs> yeah, the card quality is pretty good, I guess, but I don't quite think that's where I want to go. So, you know, it says we have 11 creatures. It's more like 16 between Dwarven Reinforcements uh, and the equipment. Now, the equipment, 
is all basically higher curve, so we may end up regretting that in the end. Uh, but yeah, we do have more creatures than it looks like either way. So I don't really think we want village rights in this deck. It does work okay with some of our stuff, but the same is probably true of Coma's Faithful. It does help us load the graveyard, which matters for Cardoor's Vicious Return, but... I mean, the problem is we don't really want to cut creatures, I guess. That's the tricky thing, but... So maybe, would we rather ha hold on to, like, a real three drop and cut one of our hammers? I mean, we're going to have to cut multiple things anyway is the tricky thing. I guess we could just lose the top curve. It's never a bad plan. Neither of these cards are great. They're both fine. Um, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, we probably don't need the rune in this deck. You're probably right about that. Um, probably don't need the faithful. Uh, last few cards. So maybe we go down a frostbite since it's never going to do three in this deck. Going down one is probably not a bad plan. Um, We have a pretty low curve now. We could consider cutting a land. And if we do, it's probably a swamp because of the cairn. Yeah. So we need to cut one more card. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to cut a hammer, sadly, just because they're so expensive. Like... It may as well be over here. Our curve isn't as low as it looks because of Dwarven Hammer and Draugr's Helm. Um, the hammer does make anything into a threat, which is pretty nice. But, uh... Yeah, let's go down a hammer. All right. Let's do this. Should be interesting. Right, seems pretty good. This would be a good time to have one of our three frostbites before this can help them ramp. But, uh, <laughs> we didn't get one, unfortunately. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to play Firewalker here. I'm going to give it haste. If they want to trade, I think that's fine by us. This thing gets pretty gross in the late game, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, their ramp over there is bad news. Luckily, we can kill the mob. I guess that's probably what we do here. Yeah, kill the mob and attack them.
So we can play Birgi's uh, Harnfell this next turn, and if we have the time to do it, if we're not under too much pressure, it's probably what we do. Um, but, you know, right now... Yeah, I mean, the ramp that they've been able to get has been bad for us. That's for sure. But if they're just over there, like, twiddling their thumbs, I'd probably just play Harnfell. Um... Like, if they just decide to not do anything, for example. Okay. Do I feel like I'm under enough pressure here to not play Bergy? So they can't crew this right now. I'm going to attack with my cavalry here and then play Harnfell and try to make that work. I could play the hammer. I think I want to play Birgi more though here. Oh crap, they can't crew it. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking this was a 2-2. I specifically said, oh, they're good. They can't crew it. But clearly I was wrong. Reading cards is hard. All right, so let's do this. See if we can overcome that colossal punt. We might be able to. Harnfell is the kind of card that can help you do that. Yeah, I don't know how I read that as a 2-2, but <laughs> apparently I did. So I think we can block um, Horizon Seeker here. I think we can afford to trade at this point because... Um, we should be able to outcard our opponent now. Of course, they have a way better board position, but, you know, it might still be doable. Yeah, we're in some trouble. If I hadn't just given up my creature, we'd be in a little better shape. Okay. So let's discard a swamp. See what we have. Alright, so we're gonna play this. So the bad news here is you can't foretell from uh, nowhere. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna play the hammer here. Although I guess two bodies, never mind. Two bodies is actually kind of okay here. It's not great, but it's probably better than just playing the big hammer dwarf or something. Oh, I forget I can do this. You can do this more than once a turn. Why am I making stupid mistakes? <laughs> I should have done this again. It seems kind of crazy you can do it more than once a turn. I guess that's what has me had me confused. Double punt. Well, I knew I still could, but with the amount of mana I had, it didn't seem like it made sense to do it. That's not nice. Well, now we have no chance, I would say. Yeah.
I'm a little surprised that they're thinking for so long. <laughs> I think you want to use your Firewalker to crew that, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe they don't want to punt, that's true. Well... I think you're a little late to the game, Feed the Serpent. And we're dead. That's a game like where, yeah, if we had that frostbite in our opening hand and we had killed that two drop, things would have gone a lot better. And you know, also if I hadn't made two dumb mistakes. <laughs> but the amount of extra mana they got out of that two drop was hard to overcome. It was like, not much we could do. Nope, there's no best of three draft on the early access event. And even if there was, I probably wouldn't play it. So, see you later, Polrak. I've gotten too used to best of one at this point. <laughs> I can't go back. Okay, this is a good hand. Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna get to play this on turn three with a Berserker already in play? I think it's an exaggeration to say best of one is totally different deck construction, but you know, it is different. That much is true. The Tinkerer's Cube's pretty fun, yeah. So, if we can get more Berserkers going, things are going to get really silly here. Uh, but yeah, we definitely play... Next turn we can play Dwarven Reinforcements so that we gain a ton of mana off of the Chapter 3. We're only going to get to draw cards right here probably, but, you know, we'll see. Undersea Invader. That is a big boy. Okay. Well... Yeah, so we attack with both of these. Nice. Things are coming up our way now. <laughs> okay, so I could play Immersturm Raider, but I think... I mean, I could foretell and play Immersturm Raider, but... Oh, I have to go to damage first anyway. But uh, I think we just want to play our reinforcements here. We're going to get four mana next turn from our Saga. And if we can get four mana out of it, um, things are going to get silly. All right. <laughs> so if we can get our Blood Sky Massacre every game... You know, I believe in us.
It's not really an ultimate. I mean, depends on the saga, but all it does is make their um, it makes their next giant spell in that turn two less mana. Or it may not be giant. It might be the one that says five or more mana. But I don't really call them ultimate because a lot of them actually have the best effect on chapter one, and have pretty lame effects for the others. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to do it again. Uh, going first would, of course, be better, but this is still pretty good. That's for sure. I just say last chapter or chapter three, but that's just me. Okay, so... Epilogue. <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. I don't appreciate it. It slows down our uh, shenanigans over here. This is such a good common. <laughs> People are excited about Feed the Serpent, but for me, Sorol's Packmate seems like an even crazier, crazy good common to me. Yeah, they've got a lot of mana over there, and I don't really like it. I'm hoping... Okay. We are going to have a good attack here, though, thanks to Feed the Serpent. So we go Feed the Serpent. And then we attack... And we get to draw two. Ooh, boy. We haven't seen... It's very odd we hadn't seen a Frostbite until just now. <sighs> All right, so... We are in excellent shape here because... We can go... Frostbite... Now it's a question of whether I want to feed the Serpent right now or just play Draugr's Helm and hold off on it. I think i probably feed the Serpent here. Having double Vicious Return is a little awkward, um, but does give us reach. Yeah, you know. Okay, I'm glad that part just mills them. It's slow. Well, that's no fun. Um, okay. So they're gonna tap down something. I'm going to play Draugr's Helm. So they can only get one thing back, which is good news for us. Okay. Um, so I could feed the Serpent here. If they just take everything, I can kill them with the Vicious Return. So I think I'm just going to attack. See what happens. Oh yeah, they can do that. I kind of forgot about that. So... Yeah, let's make some tokens. I could foretell and play the Cavalry, but I think just making tokens here is worthwhile. Oops. Because now, Vicious Return will be a lot easier to uh, do. I could have just played the Return to do three to them. But it's not impossible they have life gain in their deck. So.
Alright, let's just keep getting Blood Sky Massacre every game. Let's play a turn two Berserker and turn three Massacre every game. I believe in us. Yeah, we had plenty of reach on that board to kill them any number of ways, which was nice. All right, I think we can keep this. Cavalry here. Hmm. Am I worried enough about that Horizon Seeker? I don't think so. I'm just going to attack with my cavalry. I'd rather trade it for these than my firewalker, so... I'm play our firewalker now, though. Well, no blood sky this time. See if we can win without it. <laughs> Both times we've won today, it's been... That card has helped us do it. Okay. Well, I kind of think I'm just going to attack with both my creatures here. I could Dwarven Reinforcements and send a token at them instead, but I could also foretell both of these this turn. Or foretell one and play the Berserker. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, I think I play the Berserker here. I'm going to give it haste. And, yeah, I think just attack with both of these. They might have the sand... No, oh, no, never mind. They don't have the right kind of mana. Okay. And then we're going to foretell this. Yeah, that hurts. Struggle for Skemfar bees pretty good. Ow. Okay. Well, kind of have to demon bolt this before it gets out of hand. Wish that weren't the case, but I feel like it is. Man. Lots of fighting going on over there. This is going to get real big, too. It's going to get two counters next turn. And I can't do anything about it. Um, all right, so we're going to play our Helm now. Interesting. I think I block Horizon Seeker if it attacks me. Yeah, we're gonna block it. 
All right, so... Let's play Immersturm and discard a mountain here. Ooh, that could be good. That's not great. Um, okay. Well, let's block with a token there. And take four. So they're unfortunately not very far. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, my God. So they can use that ability now. So the only way I have a chance here is going to involve really messing ourselves up. But I think we have to take that chance. Hope they block, basically. Then play Vicious Return and finish off Svela. Because if they can use Svela's ability, we are in trouble. And we're in trouble even if uh, even if they did block there, there's a decent chance we would be in trouble, unfortunately for us. Um, it would just be less trouble. So yeah, they have Svela's ability, get to play a card for free from the top four of their library. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, that's not what you want to see. Squirrel man. Okay. Um, man. Cardura's Vicious Return feels pretty bad right now just because of the way things are stacked up on this board. Um, yeah. Um, I kind of feel like we need to use it. I just wish it wasn't the case. Because that reanimation effect will be important. All right, so we're going to play Cardura's Vicious Return here. I think we'll use it to kill the only thing we can, which is that elf token. And then we'll end our turn. Svela. Yeah, I mean, if games go long in this format, Svela's insane. I mean, I definitely blocked that with my zombie token. If they have a trick, so be it. Um, you know. Not quite a trick, but yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. So they can still use this ability, which is frightening. Well, there's our Frostbite, which I now have to discard. <laughs> Couldn't I have responded to that? It's weird it didn't let me. I mean, it wouldn't have done anything, so... You know. See what they get for free here. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so they do six to us and draw two, draw three cards here. Or they do four to us and draw two cards here. Yeah, I guess setting up a manual stop is a good thing to keep in mind with this card. It wouldn't have helped us. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we're dead. They're gonna beat us with the with waking the trolls. I mean, even though we get to reanimate something, which I guess it would be this, because we get the token out of it. We're still dead. <sighs> All right. So, I've made it through the whole stream today without plugging my new YouTube channel, uh, which is called Nitsahone History. Um, in addition to playing Magic, I have a PhD in history, teach college-level history courses, and I'm take, trying my hand at starting a history YouTube channel. So if you want to hear me talk about other stuff uh, other than Magic, you can check it out if you look for Nitsahone History on YouTube. Uh, there's already several videos up. One goes up every Thursday, so check it out if you haven't. Uh, and, you know, maybe you'll like it, and if you do, subscribe. I'm actually going to be plugging it. This Friday's Top 10 uh, will involve, you know, sometimes I do... I do Top 10s where I, um... utilize my history, uh, degree, and uh, I'm doing one for Kaldheim uh, that's like that. All right, I think we can keep this hand. It's Vicious Return has been a little awkward in this deck. I kind of feel like we didn't end up with enough creatures for it. But, uh, yeah, this looks like a fine hand. Early Frostbite. Seems nice. Uh, but, yeah, this Friday I'm looking at the most flavorful Kaldheim cards. And for most of them, I'm going to talk about, you know, medieval history and culture. Uh, to talk about the flavor. Drawing a two-drop here was pretty good. Although, yeah, I mean, I would have just foretelled my my reinforcements but yeah foretold so if they play an x2 i can foretell one of these and frostbite you know or i can just foretell one of them that works too really uh we're gonna go with the reinforcements Glad you like the History Channel, Von Ham. I'm having fun doing it. I have, you know, I, I have more time right now to do it, so yeah. Thanks, Mimi, or Meme. Uh, but yeah. Oh, see, Frostbite here. Gonna feel real good. Just, just see you later, buddy. Alright, so, yeah. Um, we'll attack them for two. Then we're gonna play this. Then we're gonna foretell this. Vicious Return looks pretty good. We're not gonna get a creature back right now, but you know. So yeah, this weekend I'll get back to my streaming. I'll be streaming, I think, three days a week. Um, probably like Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. I haven't figured it out just yet for Kaldheim season, but something like that. And I'll be streaming more Kaldheim, obviously. Okay, so... Options here. So we could Demon Bolt the thing... I do sort of feel like Vicious Returning might be a little bit better. And we'll actually put our Berserker in there so we can get it back. Um, it probably is better. Yeah. Um, and we'll hold on to Demon Bolt. Yeah, so let's go f for Vicious Return here. I can do both, but there's no reason to do both. Uh, so yeah, I'll sacrifice our Berserker. I mean, I can leave mana up, I guess, for Demon Bolt, which is pretty good. I need to put a hold, full control here, as we learned last time. The reason, by the way, I went with the Berserker is because... Uh, I'd like to have something to reanimate. Plus, it getting a counter is nice because then it replaces itself. Normally, I do think you want to give up tokens, but because our graveyard is so empty, I thought it would be better to go this route. Uh, 
Oh yeah, the stop. We may or may not draw a card that makes it relevant at all. Um, yeah, that's a big creature. And one that not even Demon Bolt can kill. Uh, okay. So, I guess we're going to discard this swamp. Do I think it's going to be worth it to attack into this and Demon Bolt? It honestly might be. Then next turn I'll have a lot of damage coming their way. Because I'm also going to get back our Berserker. That drops him to 10. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. I'd be happy if they just took four. I'd be down. With all our mana up, they might. Um, if they just take it, I think we're going to be... That's the, that's the ideal scenario here, actually. So that they just don't block. Not that they block and we Demon Bolt. Just that they decide not to block uh, for concern about various things. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, I'll take it, but I don't love it. All right, so in case we draw an instant. And we have a reason to play like Frostbite. Ah, oh, man. See, that was the that was the flip side of our decision that they're just going to play something else. Oh yeah. I was thinking I'd have to discard, obviously I don't. Um, interesting. I think I just rumble with everything here. And then we're going to try to outcard them with Harnfell probably the rest of the way. Um, we could just play Birgi as a creature too. That's not the worst plan ever. So this will drop them to five. I'm kind of assuming they're going to block one of these because I get a zombie if they block the Berserker, this Berserker now. Okay, well that works for me. Man, it's almost like, is it going to be more worth it to just play this as a creature now? I don't think so. She's going to help us dig for our reach, which we have a significant amount of. We have another Cardor's... Uh, vicious return, and we have um, some other things waiting for us. So I think we go this route. Which means that if they stabilize against us, we can probably still find, find a way here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Every land we draw, we're going to discard, so... You know. This will help us go wide, in addition to helping us find reach. Most likely. You know, if I don't draw a land, there's questions about whether or not I should discard it. Are we going to get our horn Harnfell blown up for the second time today? That'd be rough. We have one of those that we could use right about now. Can't imagine they attack here. Well, now I can. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... Okay. I can drop them to four here. Play the cavalry, which will let us play something with haste. I think it's worth it. So we have our own Immersturm Skull Cairn still in our deck. <sighs> if they gain any life, we're in trouble. And there is that big worm that gains them life. That would be backbreaking for us. That land wasn't in my hand. It would have gone away. So there wasn't any reason not to play it. Oh, boy. Okay. So we're going to have to win in a hurry. <laughs> it's funny because I think our, you know... Yeah. This deck, it looks like it's never going to win without the Berserker card. The land wasn't in my hand, so I couldn't discard it. <laughs> um, well, they can't use either of them right now. And this one takes longer to use. I guess I'll give them Priest of the Haunted Edge. So... Oh, man. Do I play Draugr's Helm, or do I discard it and hope to find something better? The thing is about playing Draugr's Helm is it'll give me a menacey creature that causes them significantly more problems. I think we actually just play this Helm as a creature here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that can kill basically anything, but it can't do it yet. All right, so I think we do throw this guy away and hope we find something. Okay. Um... So now I think we do probably attack. The horrible thing is they get to search up a six drop or a six toughness creature if they block, but I think it's still the right thing to do in this case. They have four blockers. So, I 
Yeah, the more I think about it, yeah, I don't think attacking makes sense. We can try to go wide on them at least. We still have the time to do that. So this can block and kill something. So, you know, giving it to them. Giving it to them at the time, I was kind of hoping we'd win before it mattered. But uh, obviously this can block and kill. Okay. Well, doing it that way works for me. Huh. They may have just given us a pretty decent chance at winning now. Menace and plus two, plus two, plus whatever we draw. Wow. Well, we're not going to be able to equip it yet, but I don't think it matters. So, yeah, we go Feed the Serpent on Burning Rune Demon. And, yeah, now they're dead. I did not think we'd find our way out of that one. They don't have a land that does something, right? No. Alright, we got there. They should have waited to do this. Oh, you can only do it as a sorcery. That's why they didn't. I'm smart. That, and, yeah. Okay. They didn't really have a great option there. I guess it was right not to give them Feed the Serpent. Alright. See if we can get past the 3 3. We did win a game now without our Blood Sky Massacre saga on turn 3, so that's cool. <laughs> Harnfell got us there for sure. Oof. Yeah, uh... I mean, it's not completely horrendous, but I think we're mulliganing. Yeah, this one's a lot better. Oh, what do I put back, though? My goodness. I guess it's probably the Swamp. Immersturm is basically a strictly better Swamp in the early going. Man. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Swamp. Because I'll just play it on turn one anyway. I mean, there's a chance they play something I really want to kill with Frostbite, I guess. But, yeah, no, they don't. Probably going to play the Birgi side this time instead of the Harnfell side. Yeah, I mean, a card that does nothing the turn it can comes down can be a lot more... Um, you can survive it a lot better when it grants you pretty great card advantage. Yeah, I mean, I may discard, I may discard a Frostbite to our Raider to try to find a third land... I'd rather just draw that third land, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> okay. If I draw a third land, I probably still discard one of the Frostbites to, to my Raider, I would think. That's where I'm leaning, anyway. Um, yeah. I mean, is it actually better to discard the land here? I think it probably is. Yeah. Hopefully we don't regret that too much, but... I'm okay with it, I think. Although, maybe against a giant deck, I should have just been like, yeah, Frostbite's not going to be that good, but... Mistwalkered.
Thank you for the follow, Grumper Dunskin. They're foretelling something instead of casting that. Okay. So... I mean, I could still hold out the other side of Bergy and just play a 3-drop here. The cool thing about Bergy, uh, potentially, is that it'll let me Frostbite something twice because of the mana I get back. But, yeah, it's probably not worth it. I mean, we don't have... She also lets us boast twice, I guess, which matters. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm just going to play the Firewalker here. It's hard to know what the best archetype is at this point in my second draft of the format, Carrot Boy, but... Uh, she would have died anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, we definitely want the Harnfell side if we can get there. Uh-oh. They're gonna grab another Demon Bolt. That's <laughs> so gross. That is... So gross. Um... I don't really feel like Feed the Serpent is worth it here. Yeah, so we're just gonna end our turn. Leave up all our stuff. I love that card. Even though I haven't played with it yet, it's one I've been... Was excited about in the set review. I mean, I think they all seem pretty well supported. I can tell you which ones I'm most excited about. I just can't tell you which ones are, like, the straight-up best. And usually, having those tiers in your, in your mind, I think, is fine to have. But I think some people put too much emphasis on it sometimes. Where they think, sort of, uh, like, uh, you know, it doesn't matter... What you should be doing is drafting what's open before you think about what tier of limited. That should basically just be like a uh, 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 tiebreaker. Okay, so... It just doesn't feel worth it to me to use either of those. Uh, that's not really what we're looking for. Okay. I mean, we know they have the frost... The bolt thingy. Um... We wouldn't mind them pumping mana into this so I can kill it with Frostbite. That would be pretty cool of them. Well, the only reason it showed me is because it was revealed when they drew it. So it's not incorrect. Frostbite's an, in an instant. Pump man into it, come on. Aww. Well, I'm glad we kept our mana. <laughs> See you later, Odin. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, we can kill lots of small things. I think we just continue to hold off. I mean, we're not in a whole lot of danger here uh, for the most part. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just take this. If they do it one more time, we're going to be really happy. Do it one more time. Come on. It'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. <laughs> we got to finally use one of those. Our deck has not felt aggressive in this game. That's for sure. All right. So... I think we attack them here. And then we play Harnfell. I wonder what these are. I guess one of them is Demon Bolt. Ooh, ouchies. I'm glad I have another Frostbite. I'm not glad I don't have the mana up for it. Hasted. Okay. Um, I have a hard time seeing a world where we're going to have time for Cardwar's Vicious Return. So I think I'm actually going to discard it here. Although maybe it's better to discos discard a Frostbite, but probably not. Yeah, let's discard the return. Okay. Uh, all right. So, yeah. So we're going to feed the Serpent the Arcanist and Frostbite the Berserker. Does mean we lose the Helm, but that's okay. Well, that doesn't hurt our feelings too much. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it gave us some value, to be sure, but... Not as much as I would have liked. Well, guess we're going to attack them with this raven. So, when I play Draugr's Helm, they're going to kill the creature I make out of it. So it's almost like, is it worth making the creature? Um, I actually have the option here, too, of using Immersturm Cairn, Skull Cairn to get rid of the last card in their hand and do three to them. So I'm just going to play this and get the creature. It does make them use their removal, and if I just played it and didn't uh, make it, they would just kill my bird. So I may as well make the creature, yeah. And I still get the Helm's bonus, you know, on my other creatures, so it's not a huge loss for us, I don't think. I wonder what their last card is. We're gonna hold on to our last card for bluffing purposes, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, GM Art. My microphone is not in a good position for me to see the notifications and people follow me. Yeah, I know, the flavor on how this bird is wearing this helmet made for Zombies is interesting. So they may be dead this turn if the Skull Cairn gets to... If we get to attack and use Skull Cairn. Okay, they are going to get to look at some stuff. But... Yeah, they might be... They might be able to delay us at least.
Maybe not. That was a weird game. Thank some more people from following me that have gone un unthanked. Uh, so thank you, Jeshu, uh, Kaladin, Stormblessed, Thunderlord Nick, The Electric Death. Thank all of you for following me. This is a pretty good hand. Player Mountain, so we can frostbite whatever they might play. And that is the plan. You can play on Arena, but you can't play Kaldheim on Arena, Shmiralize. Unless you have. You're in the early access event. So, yeah, so we're going to frostbite this too. So, I think I'm going to discard the swamp here. Hopefully, we don't regret it too much. It's not terrible. This card does seem kind of awkward in this deck overall. We didn't really... I don't really think we got there on... Uh... Well, now that's going to feel pretty good, I guess. Player Firewalker. I know it takes two black, but we'll be fine. If I knew I was going to draw a second one, you know, I would have done things differently, but... <clears throat> Our Firewalker might be able to let us hit it. I guess they're probably going to tap down our Firewalker, though. Okay. So, um, let's go to combat. My Firewalker is going to get tapped down. Then we're going to play Cardoor's Vicious Return. I mean, I don't love that I might have to discard to feed the serpent, but, you know. Aw, oh, man. Well, now we don't have to worry about it, I guess. So we are going to boast, but let's see what happens here first. Well, I guess we're just going to play it since we it's kind of free. land that's gross but I'm glad I have to feed the serpents in my hand <laughs> Just kidding. 
So, should I boast here? I think it's probably fine to do. Yeah. If we hit a land, that'll be good. If we don't hit a land, it's whatever. And we did hit a land, so. So, they're at three. Luckily, that didn't get to do its thing. Okay. Well, so I can kill the Kin Seekers, but then they're going to tap down my Firewalker, and I don't have an attack anyway. So I don't know if I'm going to do it just yet. I'm going to go to combat first, see what they do. Yeah. Play our cavalry here. We're going to hold on to this land in case we draw our uh, Harnfell or Birgi, you know. Whichever. Well, there's a the card that gains life that's really annoying. Um, we're not in a huge amount of trouble here, so it's not the end of the world, but, you know. I don't love it either. Ouch. So I don't really think it's worth attacking just to uh, boast. So I'm just going to end the turn. Okay. Let's try to Dwarven Reinforcements here. Uh-oh, are we going to lose to that card again? The good news is they're one mana short right now. That life they gained is looming very large right now. Ooh, okay. This should this should get us pretty close. Oh, they do have the pillar, which will make things more difficult, but uh you know. So, yeah, let's give it haste. Um, I kind of doubt they're going to let me do what I want to with it, but um, we'll give it a shot. All right, so I could attack with everything here, but it's, it's not going to be worth it. I'll get in for two and lose lots of things, so... I don't have enough mana to move the helm. It has it's very expensive to move. Four mana. And yeah, they're generally gonna do it when I go to combat. Wait a second, do they already have the mana for Yeah they do. Man. We might lose to Svela for a second time. Didn't do us any favors last time, that's for sure. Well, that's not what we're looking for. So now I will move the helm just because putting it on one of my two ones and making it significantly better does make their lives slightly more difficult. Very slightly. <laughs> but more difficult nonetheless. All right. Yeah, we needed to draw a creature because now they'll be able to use this twice before... What? Three, four, five, six... Oh, no, they couldn't use it just yet. It looked like there were enough forests there for a second. They can use it now, though. So at least they only get to use it once, though, I guess, is the bright side. 
There. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool animation for the Jormungandr uh, inspiration. Even though I think overall this has some pretty lame um, flavor. Like, I don't think it's an especially flavorful representation of Jormungandr, but, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. The animation was very Jormungandr, though. Yeah, yeah, you get a serpent. And I'm pretty much dead. Bricking on our draws has not been good news. Uh... Like, there should be some biting of one's own tail going on here. And I guess maybe that's the idea of sacrifice. But he makes separate serpents. His own tail would be like plus one plus one counters or something, you know? So... Yeah, we can cycle our Firewalker. Ugh. Maybe we should have, I guess. I was going to say, I didn't feel desperate enough to do it just yet, but now I kind of do. Okay, so we're going to take three. And what do we draw? It's got to be something amazing. Interesting. This does actually give us some small chance to find a way to do the necessary damage to them. Uh, yeah. Let's give this a try. Now, it's not super likely, but it is possible. So, Demon Bolt, huh? Dwarven Hammer, huh? Well, <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to go with Demon Bolt, but it almost seems like Dwarven Hammer might be more meaningful. The problem is with Ice Spined Pillar in play, they'll just shut down whatever it is. I, uh... Yeah, so I guess we're just going to Demon Bolt the Kin Seekers. I guess that's what we can do there. I keep forgetting I could discard again, but I think waiting one more turn is probably fine. Oh, it's a serpent. I didn't really think about that side of things. They didn't go for it, though. Well... Yeah, that Ice Bind Pillar has not been our friend. What? They have two of those. What world is this that we're living in? Okay. I mean, if we don't win this turn, we're dead. So I'm probably just going to take everything they throw at me that I can. 4, 7, 10, 13, 17. So they did do enough there that I have to block something. Um... I mean, it's highly unlikely we win, but, you know. All right, so we'd have to draw. I don't think we have any way to do seven damage to them now, unfortunately. But we can try. Okay, so let's discard this mountain. Okay, let's discard this Axe Guard Cavalry. Mm, 
Yeah. That's not going to do it. Um, hmm. Interesting. So, let's use Feed the Serpent on the 3-5 here. It would be funny if I could sneak in for enough damage here. I mean, I don't think I can. Let's frostbite this one. Ooh, I think that was a mistake. Because I can still move this. I don't know that it helps us, but... It gets us a lot closer. I think they can, uh, yeah, they'll survive this. And then I die. But we got a lot closer than we would have without Horn Harnfell. Oh, yeah, feed the serpent. Yeah, you're right. It wouldn't have made a difference, but that was the uh, right move for sure. Yeah, if only this had been our uh, saga or something. We could have gotten there. 